Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Valkyra Chronicles 4. We're here on a freaking massive tank battle. Okay, the Hoffman's taking a couple of hits. It's been bad, but it's all right. How are we going to do this? So, this tank knows he's in trouble if he points his backside to us. This tank is in trouble. This tank has two shots left. Uh, actually, just one more shot from the Hoffman, and it's probably destroyed. This thing is definitely a worry. Um, so I think what we need to do is destroy this tank with the Hoffman. This guy comes over here, shoots this guy. We need the sniper to take out the shock trooper to make sure the Federate tank doesn't get hit from behind. Um, there's the other shock trooper over here, but that's whatever. We have some other tanks that are probably over here. We can't see them right now, but there's at least one other tank there. There's at least another Lancer over here as well. But we don't we need we don't need to take out everybody. We just need to be able to capture the base. That's all we gotta do. So let's take out let's do this first. The Hoffin does not need to move anywhere. It just needs to take out this tank. Supposedly one more shot to kill it. I'm going to try to aim for center of mass here. Fire. Solid. Great. Done. All allies have been taken out. Yeah, the freaking grenadier is a problem. Okay, so with that done, and the shock trooper doesn't have any cover anymore. There's no sandbag there. I think the sniper should be able to see this now shock guess. trooper. It looks like they do have line of sight. And so that means we should have line of sight. Don't. Advance. Uh, Allard, I'm going to be shooting over your head. Remember to duck. I can't freaking see this shock trooper. There he is. Okay. Get Allard, just duck a little bit. There you go. It's right over all our shoulders. <laughs> it's all right. We did it. Um, should move Kai over here just to make sure. If she's not in any kind of cover. Could move her back. No, actually, there's no cover over there either. Oh, you know what? Move her to the APC. Then she's safe. Yeah, that's probably the safest thing to do with her right now. I can always deploy her later if I want her. Okay. Um, so Allard just got hurt really bad by this guy. It hurt. Um, so then the Federate tank goes in and takes the other guy out. And of course he can actually aim. It's debatable. Alright, so here... This guy's being a jerk. There we go. Grenadier down. Fantastic. Uh, hold up. Before we end the current action, we'll look over here. What do we got? Okay, so there is another tank over there. There's the shock trooper. Alright, this doesn't look too bad. We drive the APC up here with some guys to uh, to take this. I think we've got it. Uh, Allard's probably not the guy to do that, though. Okay, so Allard, you probably need to be healed. Uh, let's do that with the Lancer here. Nobody else is here Leave to do it. it. To so, Gene, glad you're here. Use this Ragnade on your friend here. Actually, you're not close enough for some reason. There you go. Uh, don't know why. There we go. I had to actually target him for some reason. There. Good, solid, done. Thanks. Probably shouldn't have kept her out in the open, but it shouldn't matter too much. Okay, so Allard, he's got to repair the Fed the Hoffman, right? Yeah, the Hoffman's been taking some hits. So, Allard, you need to come Where's over here. Tank? And repair this thing. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, I just gotta basically run back. We can repair the sandbag, which we probably should do. Uh, though I think it's not repairable because 
Gene's standing on top of it, I think. Gene, you betrayed me. Yeah, she's standing on top of it. So I can't actually repair it. That's unfortunate. There shouldn't be another Grenadier. I think we took care of them all, so I think we're okay. Okay, so the Fetter Tank's way out in front. That could be a problem. He's about it's about to be a target for sure. This thing's out of ammunition right now. Um what does that mean for me? I think that means I can basically use the Hoffen. There's another tank over here. Holy shit, there's another two over here. Okay, that could be a problem. There's a Lancer too. We need to take care of this tank, for sure. It needs to go. Don't know why they put down anti-tank mines. I mean, it makes sense from, like, a military perspective, but from a game perspective, I couldn't have driven the Hoffman over there if I wanted to. Use the Lancer for this? I'm tempted to. But I think instead, we'll go ahead and use the Hoffman again. I wonder if we should be pulling the Lancers uh, from reserves. How many shots is he going to take to take this thing out? Two shots. Okay. Now, if we manage to hit the backside, theoretically one shot. That good with the... Wow, that's like... We have to aim that perfectly. No, it said one shot briefly, and then for some reason I don't actually see that anymore. Oh, yeah, right at the very, very tail end. It's too wide. Too, poss too wide of a possibility to miss. Now... We go for number two here. We could take out the big tank, or the big uh, gun here, but I think we'll just go for the main body. Fire. Okay, it's only one shot away from death. We use that CP on the Hoffen here. Yes. Okay, moving out. Yes, we do. Right there. Okay. One more tank gone. That's right. less damage is going to happen on the Federate tank. Federate tank's still going to get uh, hurt by a couple of these other tanks, but the other ones on the distance are going to have a hard time getting to us right now. Um, they could probably drive up and around here, but it's going to take them time. Uh, with our last CP, I think I'm going to pull in another... I'm going to pull in here. Pull in Laurent. Do that. Tempted to pull another engineer, but I don't think we need that necessarily. I think we're fine. It's tempting though. No, no, I think we're okay. I mean there could be someone coming down here, but the cactus is trying to kind of keep an eye on this. I think we're good. No one's coming from this direction. There's some scouts, I'm a little worried about their distance they can move, but. This should be fine. I think we come in here. We take out the tank. It's going to be a little tough uh, to take the base, but I think we can do it. Mostly because the tanks are going to be right there, but the bullard should prevent us from getting two hit. We'll just end the phase and see what happens. We're a tank. They're a tank down, so that's great. Okay, so one of their scout, one of their lancers is moving. Okay. He's probably trying to get a good. Yeah, okay, he's probably going down the anti tank route. Okay, so one of the tanks opens fire on the Federate and actually hits. I was hoping he would not be able to hit that. Okay, this guy is moving over to probably try to hit the Hoffen or somebody. Yeah. He couldn't make it all the way, but he's going to definitely try to hit the Hoffen. This guy's just bursting down some of these protections. Couldn't actually open it. He couldn't find a good line of sight to fire on, though, so that's good. That's probably another uh, Lancer trying to move over and get a uh, line on the Federate tank. And that's it. That's all they, they can do. So we only had one hit. That's not bad. Okay, so the Hoffman could move forward. 
We do have a defensive line here. There's going to be a Lancer showing up here. It's going to happen. Probably next turn. Yeah, it's very, very likely. This tank's got to go. Um, it's a heavy tank, so it's going to take like three hits. Unless we hit it from behind. And we might be able to do that, actually. So there's going to be a tank coming up from here. That's what that indicates. Um, I think the... I think our... I think Jean Jean... Our murder machine can come in right behind here and shoot this guy from behind. That might do it. It's facing the other way. I'm a little worried that the tank's going to come up and blow her away. Oh, wait a minute. Can't do it anyway. These are... Um, these are the tall wooden um, walls that she won't be able to see through anyway. Well, and these bullards will stop the tanks from moving over. It's not great. It's not great at all. Okay, then we have to move the Hoffin. Um, we'll move the Hoffin up here, and basically pummel this guy. Um, we move with the cactus. We move this guy over, pick up Allard, and move him towards the tanks. So we can repair at least the Federate tank. It only took one hit, but still, we should make sure the tanks don't uh, don't die. Yeah, this tank's got to go. This tank's got to go. It's going to take a while to get to take it out too, but it's got to go. So let's do that. Um, so do I have a good? I have a decent line of sight on this tank. There's a tree in the way, but only kind of in the way. Yeah, it's pretty in the way. Uh, so I guess we move here. Watch out for counter attack. Incoming! Okay, so I move straight up here. Heavy tanks is definitely five shots to take out. I mean, two here if we take out the big gun. Actually, taking out the big gun is not a bad idea. It's definitely less dangerous with the big gun out. Okay. Uh, well, that hit the main body, so that didn't really do what I wanted it to do, but okay. There shouldn't be anybody coming up from behind it, though. Okay, All right. moving out. Often, let's move it. There they are. I've got a clear shot at your head. The tree being in the way is a problem. Could be a very, very big problem. We'll see. But I still want to do this. I want to try to take out the uh, tank officer Arker. Now you can take out the Pacific tank officer. Um, yeah, the fact that it's not giving me. There we go. To kill is three. Well, it's not giving me the same lineup as it did before, but we have a pretty good chance not to hit the tree. Okay. Fire. Did not hit the tree. Okay, good. Tempted to just go hard on the Hoffman and the Federal tank right now, but let's let's hold off on that for now. Okay, Cactus, let's move up. So Kai is inside the Cactus right now. Over here, pick up Al yeah, pick up Alert. There you go. Gene's gonna stay out. Godspeed. Alright, so this'll move him up. Yeah, Alert should be able to make it to the Federal tank now, I think. I'm a little worried about this. Okay, you know what? Just back up a little bit. I'd rather not be hit by a tank or a lancer right now. Come in. But I think you're good. So we can deploy here. Yeah. I'm still tempted to do this. I'm still tempted to move Gene over past these bullards. Knock down this one. We know this tank's coming. It's probably going to wrap around and try to take this position. Probably is. We just... Oh, there's a Grenadier over here. Anti-tank cannon. Okay, that's not a Grenadier, so we're good. It might turn around and hit the Federate tank, though. That would be really bad. Um, 
We have a lot of CP, so let's go and do this first. The Federer tank, first thing, is you're going to go ahead and... It doesn't matter what you do, Mr. Shock Trooper. Okay, so we have a chance to take out the gun. We should do it. If it takes out the body, that's fine, too. That's fine. Okay, the gun got hurt. Great. Okay, now it's your turn. Often. Again. Okay. Again, two shots. I still don't have a shot of the gun. I don't know why. It's so weird that the other tank is able to do that, so I guess we'll just go with this. So close to death. So, so close to death. A Lancer shot would take it out if we get the Lancer all the way up here. There's no way. There's no way she walks up there. Right? Yeah, it's pretty unlikely. Like, she might be able to get, like, to here, but that's about as far. I guess she could use 2 CP to do it, but if we're going to use 2 CP... Oh, no. We're already out of ammo there. Can't do anything with that. Okay, let's deploy our... I just want to blow these guys up. I probably should have called in Riley. I should be able to take out the anti-tank gun, no problem. Um, Leave it let's to move me. Jean. Let's see how far she actually gets. Ladies and gentlemen, Holy shit, she might be able to do it. Do. Tank killer, huh? Okay. This might work. Ooh, raw indeed. Well done, Gene. Well done. Okay. Move back as far as you can. This guy is still going to be able to hit Gene, unfortunately. I think what we got to do is we got to we gotta put down Gene again, don't we? Okay, so here. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab on the cactus here and say deploy. Yeah, deploy for sure. Deploy alert. I'm just going to repair this. Okay, that's done. Over this side, and let's repair this Federate tank. It does have a little bit of risk here, but it worked out. Okay, then repair the Federate tank. Was that strictly necessary? Maybe not, but it was a good idea, I think. Alright, go back down. around the other tank. Time to jump back in the APC, but I don't think that's necessary. Come over here and crush. And then Gene's gonna get behind the sandbags. Yeah, I probably should have repaired these sandbags too, now that I think about it. That would have been good. Sadly, too late. Uh, we can do that next turn. To get her out of the freaking shock trooper's line of sight. And then crouch down behind here. And we should be good to go. Alright, let's save that last CP. We don't need it right now. Got some good tanks down. The anti-tank weapon I'm worried about. I think the Federer tank's going to take some definite hits. But I think it'll live. And that's the most important thing. So I think we're good here in the face. Okay, this tank looks like he's a little stuck. He doesn't know exactly what to know, what to do. He's expecting me to go the other way, I guess. He's gonna actually try to drive all the way around. You can't do that, my dude. It's not possible. Really? I'm surprised you made that shot. That was, that's damn impressive is what that is. Okay, so we're gonna... This is the Lancer who's going this way. He's probably gonna try to sneak up on the Federate tank on this side. Yep, there he is. Uh, he didn't actually fire, which is weird. Oh, okay. Someone's firing at us from the other side. That looks like a, a scout of some type. Oh, okay, here we go. Here's the Lancer moving over here. Who just walked in front of the tank and got murdered. What was he thinking? 
He should have fired where he was. Okay, so the tank's moving into position there. We don't actually see it, though. And this tank's moving over that way. Okay, if they want to just abandon their posts, I'm good with that, because that makes it easier for me to take the base. Like, this is going to be a dead simple base takeover if they let me do it. And they might let me do it. Uh, so we got to take out this. I think these guys are in an elevated position. Okay, how are we going to do this? So the Fetter tanks hurt a little bit, right? Eh, it's not bad. It can take it. Alright, so let's see what this does. So, I'm going to kill the Shock Trooper. Yeah, okay, so there is there is an anti-tank position up there. So I think we can do that with a Mortar. So the Mortar we can take out the Shock Trooper with, no problem. Can't actually take out the other guy. Brown? How about that? Mm, kind of, but I can't really aim it. Yeah, I can't really get a good shot of this guy. This might require a sniper. Fortunately, we have one of those. Okay, well, let's do the mortar then. To take out this guy. Though he's standing, chances are we don't need to do this anyway, but let's just do it. There we go. Kill confirmed. Not bad out there. Uh, do we need to move? I don't think we need to move. I think we're fine. Okay, we could take the sniper out. We should probably move the cactus up first. So the other tank... The other tank's going to be moving over here. We have a lancer all the way here back here we haven't actually utilized yet. We have somebody over here was firing at Gene. No, somebody in here, that's who it was. This question mark right there. Was firing at Gene. Theoretically, a sniper could take care of that guy. Or Gene could. I don't think Gene's gonna be able to take this elevated position. That's probably gonna be the work of a sniper. I don't think anybody else could do it. Um, maybe a mortar. If we get Riley in, that could work. Really, that elevated position is the only really tough part about this. Otherwise, I would just take Gene or somebody and just walk right in. Like, the shock trooper is down. I'm just worried that the anti-tank gun against personnel, that would be very, very, very bad. Yeah, so the Hoffman's not a good idea. I think we move... Let's move the cactus. Um, kind of whittle your way around here. around this should be a good position um so and we could probably try to target i don't know if it's gonna work but it's worth a shot i suppose we try to get the headshot as much as possible but okay yeah not really working out that's fine okay the most important thing here though is to go ahead and deploy and Kai's going to pop out here. And she's going to try to get the shot. Alright. Well, if we hit... Three shots still. That hurts. That hurts. She's the only one who has the possibility, though. Enemy spotted. Commencing attack. I think what we do is we use the AP on Kai here. We're just going to use constantly all the... Sorry, all the CP on Kai. Just take this guy out. Moving out. Kind of hate to do it. I wish we had a better way to take this guy out. If I if I had pulled Riley early, I think that would have been... I think that would have worked. But unfortunately, I didn't. And pulling her now... There. Not really going to do much for us, so... Like, Riley might be able to get a feed, but she's going to have to walk at least up to where Jean is. And that's going to take her, like, two turns. This doesn't seem worth it. Moving out. So, Kai, you're going to be a little exhausted, and I'm sorry about that. But you're doing valuable work here, and that's what's important. 
long as you don't miss. Keep my hand off the X button, make sure I don't accidentally make her miss. Okay, so anti-tank cannon's done. Didn't take much. Kai, I appreciate your dedication. Uh, move back over here and board, just so you don't get sniped. Okay, we still have 4 CP left. We're doing okay. So tempted. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Let's move Gene up as far as we can. Give it to me. I think she can Make take sure. this base. Take That's all we need to do is just take the base. Enemy spotted. Wait. Not a bad workout. That's all we need to do. We don't really need to take out all the bad guys. We just need to take the base. That's it. We're done, right? That's we're done. Okay. That's it. Was that was it? Really, I don't know if, if we even needed to take out the anti-tank gun. I was just worried that once we got in visual range with personnel, it would be really, really, really bad. Let's head back. The tank should be able to handle the trip easily now. Okay, hold on. Let me raise the volume on that though, because we do have actual like story stuff. I have to hand it to you for that repair job, Olard. Piece of cake! I told you, if you need a tank expert, I'm your guy. Kid, please. Turn it down a notch. Come on. Let's go. Okay. B rank. Nice. About 12,000 decent ducats for that, too. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. We could probably get a tank upgrade for that. Uh, we got a new squad story again. Oh, okay, so we have this part. That's what I think they're talking about. Just to wrap it up, why not? Hell yeah! We won! Eat that, you friggin' imps! Hey, Olar, you were great out there! Huh? I've never seen an engineer fix a tank that quickly. You really know what you're doing. Yeah. It was only thanks to you that we got out of that. Thanks, man. I, um, thanks to me? Of course. Your support was quick and accurate. That helped us keep casualties on our side to a minimum. Well, really? <laughs> Feels kind of weird when someone just compliments me out of the blue like that. Hey, if you're that good with tanks, maybe you'd make a great operator. Maybe if we give you a recommendation and ask the commander, he can reassign you. A tank operator, huh? But, huh. What's the matter? You've always wanted to drive a tank, haven't you? You know, back in that battle, when I fixed the tank and it started moving again, it felt like the tank was responding to me. Maybe it sounds weird, but I was just happy to see it back in shape. I never realized how good it felt to help out like that. Helping my comrades and their tanks. So I think I'm going to stick to engineering for now. Well, you thought and that's what you came up with, huh? Uh, Private Bentley, um, thank you for the advice, sir. I didn't do a thing, kid. You decided to change and you made it happen. That's it. Oh, man, he's so cool. The hell do you think you're doing, Miles? I told you, I don't do pictures. <laughs> Sorry. I just felt like commemorating our victory, I guess. <sighs> just a little shutterbug, ain't you? Well, my family ran a photo studio, so I got it from them. But yeah, I love photography. Are you sure you don't like pictures, Dan? Don't you have some girl's photo pinned up next to your driver's seat? What? Really? Uh, Private Bentley, is that your... Girlfriend? At his age, probably his daughter. That is none of your goddamn business. Don't you have a maintenance check to get to? He's so mysterious. That's another cool thing about him. Why don't we take a picture before we get started? I just managed to get my hands on a new roll of film. In that case, get a picture of the big fella. He was our MVP in that battle, wasn't he? Big fella? What, the tank? He did the most work out of all of us back there, right? Well, I guess. But a picture of a tank would be kind of boring, wouldn't it? Boring? Look at the form, the curves, the angles. This is a masterpiece, damn it! Yeah, give me that camera. I'll take the picture myself. Hey, get off me! 
have no idea how hard it is. Get film out here. Good lord. The guy's obsessed. That's one word for it. Okay, Dan has awoken to protection potential, which is weird Dan did, but okay. Our potential fix fixation has changed to the joy of tanks. Alright. Um, I'm curious what exactly that does for us. So that's done there. Do we have actually another... Do we have another squad story? Oh, we do. Girl in the Iron Mask. Sure, why not? What the hell? I mean, I'm tempted to spin the ducats first. We should do that. We should definitely do that. There might be... Yeah, we should definitely do the training field and the... Nope, don't return book mode yet. Only we need... Let's go to the R&D facility. Let's uh, get the upgrade for the cactus. Sorry, not that. Dank parts. Uh, no. Cactus. There we go. So, we can afford both of these now. Expensive as hell. Hope it's worth it. Okay, and then radio upgrade for that. Wow. Okay, done and done. Definitely go ahead and equip that. There you go. Okay, done. Easy. Okay. So that's done. Hoffman, do we have anything else for the Hoffman to, to do? Oh, we have the reinforced armor too. 3,000 ducats, we can't do that. 4,500, we can't do that. Um, that we could do. I don't know if it's worth it. Reinforced exterior? Um, sure. Extra HP on the Hoffman, probably not a bad idea. It is a two by one. But I'm okay with that. Wow. We have lots of room on there right now. Uh, so reinforced exterior. I can't rotate it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. This will just go here. Okay. Solid. So we have... Um, we want to get the reinforced armor for sure. Yeah, that upgrades, upgrades the 200 armor. So that's 300 ducats there. And the enhanced gun is definitely better for sure. All right, well, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, exit the R and D. Although, no, we just did a. That's we couldn't have done. Okay, you know what? I'll look at the machine parts. Oh. Just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. The equipment is what I mean to say there. Yeah. Okay. It was pretty unlikely that was going to happen just because of. The squad mission. And I was right, so that's great. Uh, done already? Yep. So thank you, Miles. Let's go ahead and go to the training field and see what we can do here. 9970. So we can probably get probably three people up, so now shut or three uh, classes, sorry. Definitely get the scout up. Nobody apparently has any potentials here to unlock. Definitely get the Lancer up. You didn't even get the Grenadier up. Okay, great. Everyone's going to be level 5. Sadly, there's no battle potentials or anything like that. Great. Yep, leveled up, so to speak. And that's it. So we can't... Yeah, there's no way we're going to upgrade anything else. The engineer is the lowest one. Okay, we get an order for the Lancer next time. That'll be nice. When that happens, which I guess will be later. Done for today. Okay. Um, I don't think we need the. Well, we should probably go to the mess hall, maybe. <laughs> Check it out, Raz the Invincible's final form. You uh glued tank parts all over your body. Raz, are you feeling okay? Pretty cool, right, man? Now I can take a wave of bullets to the face and keep on fighting! Oh, I see. Sure thing, Raz. Let's see you charge the enemy. Huh? 
Yeah, it turns out you can't move. A piece of crap. I can't move, damn it! Come on, Raz. Thought we went over this already. You're lugging around a hundred kilos of machinery. Running and gunning is out of the question. <sighs> damn. So much for breaking through the front lines without getting peppered full of bullet holes. Charging into the fray isn't your job anyway. You're a shock trooper, not a tank. Even so, the Empire's weaponry is getting more and more powerful. The Hoffman's been taking a real beating. Hmm, you got a point there. I wonder if there's a way around that. Well, there might be a way to strengthen a tank's armor. But it's only temporary, and the tech hasn't been tested. Good enough for me. Let's try making an order out of it. Yeah, what's this gonna cost us? Yeah, it's worth a shot. Come on, tell me what's gonna cost us. 6,000 XP, okay. Well, we can't afford that right now. Unfortunately, we can't. Too bad. It was a pretty good order, at least in theory. Okay, well, we can do that later, maybe, and it might work out. Okay, return to Brook mode. I don't think we're gonna have time for the actually do the mission that we want to do right now, but we can at least do the, uh, well, the lead up to it. Girl in the Iron Mask. Um, so there's nothing else about this. Okay, so let's just. Apparently, Furrier and maybe Jean? Good morning, Squaddy. What's for breakfast? Better be something good. All they serve in the battlefield are shrapnel sandwiches without any bread. <laughs> What's all the hullabaloo? A little early for a party. Oh, good morning, Stanley. It's an arm wrestling contest. Seems like they're having fun. Okay, so our medic is named Karen. I didn't know that. She's not actually part of the quad technically. I can't assign her to anything. But she is the medic that kind of evacs people who, whenever they're down, and somebody picks them up. She's the person who takes them to safety. So Karen is her name. Got it. Well, it can't be all that fun. They didn't invite me. What's new, buckaroo? Things are really heating up here. Wonder who threw this shindig together. Morning, Stanley. God damn it, I lost again. What's your win streak now? Eh, I don't know. Lost count after the first hundred or so. Ah, okay, good for you, Gene. Howdy, Gene. I assume you're the brains and the brawn behind this party? Stanley, you son of a bitch. You my next challenger? Well, I'm here, so I may as well be. No need to hold back now. Hit me with your best shot. She is gonna flip you over the tables, what's gonna happen? Fire away, huh? Karen, you got any open beds in the sick bay? This is probably gonna end in a broken arm. Right now it's standing room only, I'm afraid. No worries, mean G machine. I ain't gonna break your arm. Holy shit. I guess it's with Gene. Where else are you gonna go with that? It's just weird that both Stanley and I went for the same um, appellations to her name there. Gene the mean machine. You're a funny guy, Stanley. I like you. And that's why I'm gonna kill you last. You know, she smiles, but she's actually going to work her. I thought this was arm wrestling, not armed wrestling. If it's a shootout you want, you best bring extra ammo. Because I may run out of bullets, but I'll never run out of zingers. Boonch! <laughs> Good one, funny man. She actually laughed at his joke. It's rare. <laughs> Someone actually gets my spoofs and goofs. You're all right in my book. <laughs> Looks like they're enjoying themselves. <laughs> Birds of a feather joke together, or something. Cracking wise to save lives. That's the Barclay way. Ooh, inside of the unit's heads, I'm not sure about. I'm not sure about that at all. <laughs> Uh-oh. Someone doesn't have a smile on their face. Or a face at all. Hey there, Care Bear. Who's that girl in the Iron Mask? You mean Ferrier? Yeah, her. She needs to turn that unseen frown upside down. 
This looks like a job for funny man Stan. Oh, this is not going to end well. Hey there, fairy air. Got a sick? I have a joke for you. It's very yay, apparently. Hmm? My buddy John and I were on a camping trip when a grizzly bear started chasing us. But the bear was way faster than us. So I said to John, I don't gotta outrun the bear. I just gotta outrun you. And now he's dead. <laughs> oh, real knee slapper, right? Didn't need the last part. Didn't need that last line. I mean, it was still a dark joke, but you didn't need to make it full dark. Hmm. Where are you headed, Fairy Air? Time to feed your pet rock or something? It's Fairy Air, and I have gun maintenance to do. Who put a bee in her bonnet? Sounds like someone had a bowl of bullets for breakfast without any milk. I don't know about that, but she does keep to herself. Maybe the mask makes it hard for her to open up to people. Why the heck does she wear it anyhow? Something to do with her father. Not sure on the details. Oh, color me curious. But the real mystery is why she didn't laugh at my spoofs and goofs. No, that's definitely not a mystery at all. Maybe because they're not funny? Yeah. Say we're doing field training tomorrow, ain't we, sir? How's about putting me on Fairy Air's team? I want to get to know her a little better. In that case, count me in. That okay with you, sir? Strengthening the bond between squad mates will help us work together during real missions. Okay. I mean, that's it's a horrible idea, but you know what? It could be funny. It's only a training mission. Why not? Well, you do have a point. I don't know. With these two on the job? It'll be fine. All right. And I don't see a problem with it. Okay. Let's not count our eggs before they chicken. First, we need to get her to take off that mask. Um, you ask first. Got a plan, Stan? Nope. Let's make like a stand-up comedian and improvise. Ha-cha-cha! Um, so a lot of stand-up comedians actually have like a set, like a set number of jokes they do every once in a while. Like a good comedian can improvise, but for the most part, there's like a set of jokes they go in with. I mean, you have to... Yeah, okay, there's improvisation there, but it's it's not that common. Alright. Okay, so... We're gonna do this mission next time. So we definitely don't have time to do it now. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Valkyria Chronicles 4 on PC Universe, your PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.